What would you do if you heard this sound while swimming in the ocean? In the 1960s, this haunting quacking sound echoed through the water. It baffled researchers and sparked countless theories for more than five decades. Once dubbed as the largest still unresolved mysteries of the Southern Ocean, for years this auditory riddle remained unsolved, leaving the scientific community both intrigued and frustrated. It all began in the early 1960s when a submarine crew started hearing the sound ring out from the deep. The sound has a frequency ranging from between 60 hertz and 100 hertz, harmonics that go all the way up to 1 kilohertz, and an interval of 1.6 to 3.1 seconds between each sound. There was a pattern, but why? As word spread among the scientific community, more reports of what was now called the bio-duck quack surfaced. The sound was mainly heard during the austral winter in the Southern Ocean, off the coasts of Antarctica and Australia's west coast. It was often described as a series of pulses in a highly repetitive pattern. This quacking sound had presence in higher and lower altitudes during the winter season, which contributed to its increased mystery. The source of the bioduct sounds, which went undiscovered for centuries, and many speculated to be coming from underwater scientific research, aliens, or even an undiscovered megaspecies, perplexed the world. That is, until 2014. A year prior, in 2013, a team of researchers were able to successfully attach acoustic tags to a pair of mink whales to better document their vocalizations. After some time of recording, and once the researchers got the sounds back, the bioduck sound was captured on these recording devices. Notably, the team was actually present in the area of the ocean when the recording was captured and noted no other large biological life in the area, allowing them to near definitively pinpoint the sound as having come from the mink whale. But why were the whales making this quacking sound? There's still some uncertainty around it. The sound is often made near the surface by the whales largely before feeding dives, although the role of the sound remains a mystery. Some believe that it could even be related to mating for the whales. Researchers say that the discovery is actually quite significant in their ability to estimate seasonal occurrence, migration patterns, and because they can now identify mink whales through acoustics, they can actually more cost-effectively research this animal and its migratory patterns. The decades-long enigma of the bioduck quack was finally resolved, thanks to the unyielding efforts of curious minds and researchers. While the bioduct quack no longer shrouds itself in a cloak of mystery, it serves as a poignant reminder that our world is filled with countless riddles, especially in the deep ocean, waiting to be unraveled by the persistent and inquisitive mind. What else may lie in the deep? <laughs>